Begin reading your task. Begin. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Raza, one of the ED doctor, and uh, I'm called to see you because you're not feeling well. I feel really bad. Okay, no worries. Please tell me what's happening. Oh, I can't breathe and my chest hurts. No. Okay, where is the pain? Yeah, just in my chest, a small pain, but I can't breathe that, the same main problem. Okay, when did the pain start? Yeah, it's all started this morning. Okay. Is it getting worse? No, no. It's just that I can't breathe. Okay, you can't breathe. Do you have any pain as well? No, it's just a minor pain. Okay, just a minor pain. Okay, let me quickly examine you. Please don't you worry, okay? Any problem with the throat? No. Okay, you know, feeling difficulty in breathing I otherwise? Feel, I feel difficulty in breathing, yeah. Okay, you know, feeling choked in the throat? No, no. No? no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me quickly check your oxygen saturation. Okay, your oxygen saturation is low. Uh, do you have any condition called COPD? No. Okay, I need to give you oxygen, okay? Thank let me start you on oxygen, then I will carry you on my assessment, okay? Okay. Please don't you worry. I need to do um, a blood test on your wrist, okay, from one of your pulse that we call as a ABG. Okay. Can I expose your chest, please? Yes. Okay. I have the chaperone with me. Take deep breath in and out. Okay. Okay. Any pain in the chest? No. Okay. Take deep breath in and out. And again. Okay. Normal. 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 Okay. So let me listen to your chest quickly. Okay. Normal. Some crackles. Okay. Crackles. Okay. Crackles. Okay. Some crackles. Okay, so there are the crackles. Okay. Um, Mr. Smith, your chest is a bit rattly. Okay, I'm going to cover your chest now. Let me check the respiratory rate. Okay. You're breathing slightly faster. Uh, your oxygen is still low. I will keep an eye on that. Okay. Uh, let me quickly feel your fingers. One, two, three. Capillary four. refill time is one second. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let me feel the pulses. Yeah, they are bulbable and synchronous. Present. Okay. They're present in all uh, peripheries. Okay. And um, how is... Uh, temperature it's normal okay i can see the temperature is normal let me check the pulse rate and the heart rate as well as your blood pressure okay so your heart rate is uh, slightly higher i can see on your ecg that you you have a, a condition called atrial fibrillation is it something new or you had it before no i had it before okay okay let me look on your neck all right and uh, let me feel your feet again. Do you have any swelling of your ankles? Yes. Okay. All right. So there is a swelling. Uh, how many days you start feeling unwell? Yeah, it's been like three days now. Okay. Okay. So you have the heart failure. Yeah. Do you know? Yes. Okay. Were you taking the medications for the heart failure? No, no. No? Okay. 
and uh, do you take anticoagulation like any blood thinning medication heparin oh, sorry warfarin apixaban yeah i take the the warfarin okay so your heart rate is a bit high and you have uh, rattly chest i need to give you injection just a water injection okay okay i'm going to put the white board cannulas and take a few blood samples of you i will also request a ecg as well as chest x rays okay okay Okay, I'm giving you injection to clear the fluid of your lungs, okay? Okay. Uh, it may make you wee a lot. Please don't you worry. Uh, if, if you need to wee, please let me know. We'll get you a port for that. Okay. okay? Uh, we may also need to put the catheter if, you, uh, if you're not able to uh, wee on your own, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so let me carry on your assessment. Do you know where you are? Uh, yes, at the hospital now. Okay, uh, let me show bright light into your eyes. Bilaterally reactive 3.5 millimeter in diameter. Okay, I'm going to check your glucose as well. Glucose level is 6.5 millimol per liter. Okay. Mr. Smith, I'm happy with the glucose and um, your, um, your oxygen is getting better. I can look on, I can see you on the monitor. Your blood pressure is uh, now slightly low. I may need to give you fluid. I know that you have the heart failure. Uh, I cannot give you a lot of fluid, but I will give you short uh, boluses, small boluses of normal saline, okay? I will give you two minutes, minutes remaining. 250 mils boluses of okay. normal saline. Okay. Are you feeling better? Yes. Okay. Let me listen to your chest again. Okay. Normal. Normal. Okay. I hold Some the basis. Crackles. Some crackles. Okay. Some crackles. All right. So your chest um, is still a bit um, crackly at the moment. Okay, I will give you another small dose of uh, ferrocemide, 20 milligrams. Okay, so that uh, your lungs are clear. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, Mr. Smith, yes. I will. I will carry on assessing you. I will go and request x-rays of your chest and get the ECG, okay? okay? I've already taken the blood samples to look for if there's any infection or if you have any clot in the lungs. Sometimes that can happen, but I'm glad to know that you're already taking blood thinning medication, aren't you? Yes. Okay? I will also look for um, the cardiac marker that we, look, uh, we do to find out if the patient had any heart attack. Do you have any chest pain now? No. Okay. Uh, how is your breathing doing? Yeah, I feel much better now. Okay. I can see that your numbers are improving. Uh, your oxygen has come back to normal. I will do the ABG to make sure that we are not missing anything and your oxygen is actually better. Uh, your heart rate is uh, 97. I may need to give you small dose of beta blocker because it is just borderline. It was slightly higher before. I'll give you beta blocker if it goes above above 100 again, okay? Okay. Um, so we'll move, move on, on to, to the, the next, next station. station.